If you're like me, one option isn't enough. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the HTOS bot and how to set it up. Make sure you're signed into a PlayStation first. After that, we're going to go to a Python downloads and download the newest version of Python. After you download a Python, we're going to open up the exe and add Python to path and click install now. So after a Python's done, let's go to the HTOS page by HGH Real and go to the releases and download the source code from here. After downloading HTOS, go ahead and extract it to another location on your computer and let's open it up. Check out the README and we'll open it with Notepad. If you want a text guide, this is going to be the best way to follow it outside of the actual GitHub page itself, which the same thing can be found underneath the actual source code. Let's start by opening our .env file in Notepad. The first thing that we see is the IP. So going on our exploited PS4, if we go to uh, settings, network and a view connection status we can see the ip address that we're going to need to type in moving down to ftp port and the cc port i'm sure you're wondering what that is so on the uh, github we're going to go down to the everything else page and go ahead and uh, download this cc version 3.0 or htos.pkg and we're going to take that pkg file and drag it to our flash drive now on our exploited playstation 4 we're going to go ahead and run our exploit so here you can see that i'm running gold hen 2.4 b14 this version works just fine so we're going to go ahead and load up gold hen so now we're going to open gold hen debug settings package installer and we're going to install h2s now we can go ahead and run c and turn our controller off now back on the, the uh, github page we're going to uh, download the uh, config ini file now oh, we're just gonna the uh, download raw file and we're going to put it in our htos folder so with our downloaded uh, config ini file what we're going to uh, do is just change this up a little bit we're going to create a new folder in the side of it the uh, saves folder and uh, call it cc and we're going to uh, change this port to 9021 go ahead and save that and on FTP, we're going to go to uh, data, create a new uh, folder called CC, and uh, drop our config INI file in there. From here, we're going to go to uh, saves, create a, a new uh, folder named uh, CC, and we're going to do another one called mounted. Now uh, for the uh, Google Drive at JSON path, we are going to be going up back to Google uh, Cloud. After signing into uh, Google, go to uh, console. And let's go ahead and start a, a new project. Let's go ahead and uh, switch to HTOS after it's created and go to API and service. Again, we're going to enable API and services and do it the uh, Google Drive. Enable the uh, Google Drive API and go to uh, credentials. From here, create credentials and do a uh, service account. Now we're going to uh, make a name for the service account. Then click create and continue. Give it the owner rule and continue. And once we add the uh, accounts that we're going to be using with our Google Drive, that's going to be linked to these. Going to click done. From here, we're going to uh, click on our service account, go to uh, keys, add a key, and create a new key as a JSON. Create it. And now we're going to save it as client secret.json in the side of our htus file. And in the Google Drive JSON path, we're just going to put the client secret.json. Now for the token, this is going to be our Discord bot token. On the, the Discord developer page, we are going to click new application. You can see I've named mine Wizzy the Wizard. I'm going to click create to a bot reset token. Now we're going to uh, copy the uh, token and put it here. And the very last thing that we're going to do is just scroll back up, click on uh, this link after we've signed into a PlayStation. If it doesn't work with one browser, do try another. And now we're just going to uh, copy everything inside of the uh, quotation marks and add our NPSSO token and save. Do make sure to exit out of your FTP to close the connection. And now finally, it's time to start the bot by right clicking, opening with idle and running the module. From here, we will send the invite link to a browser. 
and in the uh, channel that we're going to be running this in, we're going to do a slash INIT and we can create a uh, thread. As you can see, here is our private thread. We can invite other people by adding them. And let's go ahead and make sure everything is on. We can see that we have FTP is available, RCC connection is available, and we only have a 50 millisecond delay. 